Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. This is Moltrap, and I'm coming at you here with game one of the best of three show match series between Combat X and HD Gamer, aka HD StarCraft. And yes, indeed. Uh, so <laughs> I casted game two, the ridiculous game, and I thought it was game one, but people then pointed out to me that it was actually game two. So here is actually game one of this uh, best of three series between these two guys. Again, um, if you didn't see game two, this was played as part of a show match at the um, at the uh, Land Center Eudaimonia in uh, Berkeley. It was a GSL OSL finals party. Both finals happened in the same night. And uh, so we decided to do some show matches at the same time. And uh, so we had uh, show matches between players at Eudaimonia in Berkeley and at the Land Center in Toronto, where they were also doing uh, a similar party. And so both sides sent out representatives to represent. And uh, there was actually a pretty good best of um, series between uh, Dopa and Beko, Slayer's Beko, and that was actually a really good series. I managed to cast one of those games live, but then the silly GSL final started, and everyone wanted to watch the GSL instead of random show matches. Um, so, anyway, but uh, yeah, so I, saw, I was kind of looking over at the game two over my shoulder, though, as we were doing stuff for sound checks and stuff for the OSL while the GSL was on commercials and all that kind of stuff. Oh, is he going to block? Is he going to block? No, not going to block. Couple gateways going up at the ramp, actually, for, uh, for combat. Very interesting. He's going to put a pylon down that blocks off uh, his ramp entirely. This drone is going to be inside. It's going to be trapped inside. No escape for you, drone! Although, actually, if he wants to take care of that drone, he's going to have to either send a probe or, or rally a unit inside his base, which I don't know if he wants to do. Um, anyway, this is kind of cool because then... Oh, he is going to rally something inside of his base. Uh, apparently, his zealots is going to rally it inside of his base. Maybe there is a gap down here that... that uh, or, or in the middle here that I don't know about. It looks like it's pretty complete, but... Uh, anyway, we'll have to see about that. Anyway, point being, uh, <clears throat> Toronto sent out Combat X, and uh, HD StarCraft was sent out for Berkeley for the second show match, and they had a pretty good series. And like I said, I was looking over my shoulder at um, at, um, at at the the second game, and it was just so ridiculous I had to cast it. And by popular demand, I'm also casting the first game. I didn't have the replays. Uh, but so many people said in the second game comments, oh, you have to cast the first game, you have to cast the other games, um, that I uh, talked to Judy, Judy Tuna, at the, uh, the coordinator at Eudaimonia, and decided to get these replays after all. So I'm sorry they're a little bit late, but it took me a while to get a hold of them. Three Zealots now being pumped out, so I didn't actually see what happened with this wall over here, but he, apparently he rallied one Zealot inside and two Zealots outside, and now he's coming up with these three full Zealots against uh, a hatchery which is on the low ground actually and that's going to be pretty dangerous roach warren is almost completed but he may be forced to cancel this hatchery actually because he's only got these two zerglings the hatchery is actually critical in stalling he's not going to cancel it and that's actually a really good move by combat he's just going to run up here and uh just try and do what damage he can the roach warren is up if he can get a few roaches out he'll be able to deal with these zealots pretty easily they're going for drones hd trying to get his drones out of the way at this point a uh, very smart move putting the lings in there attacking with the queen over the top of the lings attacking with all of his drones he needs some roaches out now though he needs to really get his drones out of the way and fight with roaches and uh there the finally the zealots do go down actually the roach is not even playing a role in that battle i don't know why i have hit point bars on right now um <clears throat> it's actually considered by the way pr it's considered better to play with hit point bars on uh so you can see what the um damaged units you have that you need to pull back and what enemy units are damaged that you can target but i usually try and keep them off in my cast just because they do just get in the way whoa 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 a little bit of lag here i'm gonna go ahead and pause for just a moment all right, I was uh, letting the FPS lag clear up a little bit and turning off the hit point bars there. Uh, in any case, so HD is going to kind of counterattack here. He's got a few lings and some roaches. He's actually um, not producing too many more roaches at the moment. It, I think he's probably just getting his economy going, uh, trying to get this second base droned up a little bit. Uh, I mean, he, if there had been more pressure from combat, there would have been more pressure. And so he didn't really, he knew that there wasn't going to be. Uh, anything else coming out just at that moment otherwise things would have closely followed those zealots and combat actually getting an expansion up and getting a few cannons as well and really with those roach worn with the roach worn up with roaches coming out it really didn't make sense to keep up any pressure um, either with just zealots so wise move of him to tech up here he's actually got three cannons though zealot blocking the gaps okay so there is a little gap there a little zealot wide gap 
so I didn't realize that. Um, so he's going to be able to get things in and out uh, via that. Overlord just trying to poke in here. There's not really too much going on. Combat X saying easy. And a lot of roaches actually being rallied to the front here. And more roaches being produced as well. It looks like um, HD is going to try and go for a bit of a bust here. Um, by the way, as I mentioned in game one, this was a show, uh, or game two rather, this was a show match and Combat did say that, you know, he kind of gave a pre-apology for, for the trash talk. So, uh, you know, don't go too crazy over a little bit of BM uh, in a friendly show match. Um, but there's actually a lot of roaches here, and Zerglings are going to run up and try and see what the defenses are. I don't know if this many roaches can quite take out that many cans, especially with the Zealots putting pressure on them. They'd have to fight the Zealots first, and they'd take a lot of extra hits from those cannons, so I don't think this is a breakable position. Wow, actually a lot more roaches coming in here, though. He may just be going all in with mass, mass, mass roaches at this point, and it's all he's producing is overlords and roaches. He is just massing roaches right now, getting ready for a massive all-in attack. There's only three cannons, actually, and he's trying to get out some more Zealots. The Zealots have to engage! He goes up. Oh, he's going to try and unpower, or try and uh, actually kill the pilot off, so he's got a... a a blockade so he can move through and so many zealots though even though roaches are really good against zealots they're just oh look at this he's actually running by but only four roaches get through and combat spending all of his EPM, APM to type easy over and over again um, yeah these roaches are not speed upgraded and off of creep they're not gonna be able to do very much good they go down and that was pretty much game uh, wow look at this couple extra pylons going up in the back um, and he just needs to just hold out at this point. HD was pretty much all in with that attack. Um, yeah, I mean, he just made tons and tons of roaches and then lost them all. It's a valiant effort. I mean, if you think the opponent has, has gotten li gone light on the defense... Oh, no. Oh, God. <laughs> That's bad. Um, if you think your opponent's gone light on their defense, then it does make sense to, uh, to try and break them. But uh, Combat just had way too many zealots he was building up there. And uh, now he's actually getting out of Void Ray. And I don't know if HD even knows... Oops. He, okay, he does know the Stargate's there. But he also knows that several Zealots are barreling down on him right now. So he is going to be able to fight on Creep this time. He's rallying out several more Roaches. If he can get those Roaches out, he will be able to fight off these Zealots. But not before he loses some drones if he's not careful. He might lose the Queen as well. Queen is going to go down. He's trying to fall back with the Queen uh, and surround the Zealots. There we go. Roach is finally out. Can he save the Queen? Oh, he accidentally targets his queen. I think that's why. Oh my gosh. That was. Oh man. Trying to A move and accidentally targeted his own queen there. Ugh. And combat, yes, has in fact spelled out easy in uh, pylons on the minimap. That's a little bit harsh. Uh, anyway, he's got a void ray out now, which is going to be more than enough to deal with uh, a lot of roaches. Uh, so yeah, HD really, really far behind. I mean, when you go for an all-in, it's all-in, and HD's kind of, um, HD's kind of trying to, uh, <clears throat> whoop, what's going on? A oh, little more lag. I don't know what's going on with this. Sorry about the, uh, FPS lag here. I'm gonna go pause for a second again. Uh, in any case, so yeah, when you go for an all-in, it's pretty much all-in, and, uh, it's hard to get, come back from it, and you might as well try and drone up and see if the opponent makes a mistake. Uh, you know, you might as well, but it's probably not going to work at this point. <laughs> Combat is, uh, what is going on with my computer? It is being so slow right now. I am not sure what the deal is. Um, all right. Uh, any case, uh, Combat lamenting the fact that he only has 50 something supply, which actually compares to 68 supply for, um, HD. He's actually kind of letting HD back into this game because he's being so uh, cocky and just making pylons out in the middle of the uh, map for no reason. Here come the void rays though and that's going to basically kill all the tech that, that HD has. He's got, let's see, he's got his lair up and he's making a hydralis den now. These roaches are trying to go through the back. Combat's ready for it. He has a cannon over here just in case. Um, <clears throat> well, this is kind of harsh. Uh, but yeah, Combat doesn't actually have a lot of units. If, if HD can actually get out some Hydralisks, he might be able to put up a fight in this game. And yeah, H look at this. HD trying to break, break down these rocks. There's just a single cannon hitting uh, these roaches. And Cannon's not doing a ton of damage. And now the Void Rays come back. That's going to be it. Uh, 
Yeah, Void Rays are going to just own up those Roaches. They're going to be forced to retreat. He really, 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 really needs to get Hydras out. And that's why we see him getting this second gas over here. Um, even though, uh, you know, he doesn't have a ton of drones to support that gas. Well, he's got actually pretty good drone saturation there regardless. Um, he really, you need a lot of gas to put out Hydralisks. Just a ton of it. And HD actually getting a third base as well. So he's actually come back into this game relatively well. What is this? Comments put down a couple nexuses over here. They're obviously not going to get built, but uh, Void Ray's coming in. Queen's going to engage. Where are those Hydralists? Five Hydralists are in production. If he can control them well, if he can keep them grouped up, he can take out these uh, Void Rays with just those Hydras. If he... Well, uh, there's four Void Rays coming in here now. Uh, Queen's getting cornered in the back. More Hydralists in production. And oh no, he can't engage with a single Hydralist. He has to fall back and wait till he has several. There's four pop out. If he can target one down, that would be really big. He's trying to target that one down. Oh, but he actually targets two at once. Um, more Hydralists coming out by the moment, but the Void Razor is just picking him off a little bit too quickly. He's doing a ton of damage to the drones at the same time. Wow. Um, and look at these Void Razors just going to work. And there's the DTs. Oh, man. He was taking the Dark Templar in the background. I saw the Dark Shrine pop up. I forgot to mention it with all the action. HD with no detection and no way of killing off these Void Rays. GG's and leaves the game. So, um, wow. That was game one. Uh, pretty early uh, attack by combat and HD just went all in and it's really hard to go all in on this on this map with the ramp that's so easy to defend and uh, that's basically what happened HD just kind of he tried to squeeze his roaches by instead of fighting and I think that just it just didn't work out well for him the zealots were just too much in the way and um, anyway GG so I'm not gonna say anything about game two in case you haven't seen it yet you can go ahead and go watch uh, game two and um, yeah, that's pretty much it. GG, thanks for watching. Um, congrats to Combatics for winning game one.